Hi, I'm Chaya Lester sitting here in rainy Jerusalem. This morning I was so struck by how many core Jewish, mystic, Kabbalistic ideas sit at the cornerstone of my understanding of reality and myself in it. And they're ideas that I use every day for myself and, and use with others to kind of help us through this thing called life. And I realized that maybe not everybody knows them. So I wanted to share with you this one beautiful idea. Um, I call it the sweet spot of perfection. And it's a teaching from Rav Cook, who is this poet, mystic, first chief rabbi of Israel um, in early 1900s. And he teaches this idea, this Kabbalistic idea about the perfection of God. We know that God is perfect and complete and, and, and includes and contains everything. So ironically and paradoxically, that also means that God is containing imperfection. Part of that perfection of God is allowing for imperfection. Okay, so the word that he uses for it is moving from shlemut to hishtalmut, shlemut being perfection and hishtalmut being perfecting. So yeah, we call it imperfection. I, I really like this view of it, of the I-N-G, perfecting. And I see it in my life every day, walking this tightrope between all the love and self-acceptance that, that I can muster for myself and, and also a sense of, and what do I want to improve? And what are my lacks that I need to see and work with and work through in order to get even better, to improve and perfect? So I think that it's really all about what is your medicinal amount? So for instance, I could be working with a mother who is all the time, you know, like beating herself, badgering herself with this idea that she's not a good enough mom. Okay. And so she's a much less effective mother because of her low self-esteem, because of the idea that she's not good enough, she becomes not good enough, she becomes not very good. As opposed to if she used this nice medicinal amount of saying, I am perfect just the way I am, seeing her own shlemut, seeing her own perfection and letting that say, I am a good enough mother as I am. So what her medicinal amount is, she needs some of that um, vision of her perfectness, as opposed to somebody who, you know, kind of blindly kind of bolsters through their day without seeing anybody in any of their lacks or accepting criticism from others, um, getting really defensive. Um, so that person would really need this medicinal amount of the idea of perfecting, of how can I be in a process of improvement and getting better, which necessarily means I'm looking at and allowing for feedback and, and encountering my own lacks. And, you know, we all know that beautiful Jewish story of like, you need to have two pockets and in one pocket, it's got to say, I am but dust and ashes. And in one pocket, it's got to say the whole world was created for me. And the key is to know like which pocket to dip into when.